Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all the items that I carried in my diaper bag when my son was a newborn up until he turned three months of age. I'm also going to be doing another what's in my diaper bag video to kind of show you the items that I added on or replaced uh, when he was in the three to six month and then the six month to one year time frame. So make sure to check that out if that's relevant for your baby. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Soumya and I'm the creator of mom to mom Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you do end up finding it helpful, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also please do subscribe so that you can become a part of my YouTube family. And with that, let's get into it. So I want to start off by talking about the diaper bag itself. This one is from La Mar. Uh, it's a nice uh, brown diaper bag. Uh, you know, their products are vegan if that matters to you at all in your search for diaper bags. Um, it's within the $100 range. So, you know, it's not exactly cheap, but it's also not too expensive either. I like the color and feel of this diaper bag. You know, it holds a ton of stuff. Um, I've taken it with me on a lot of trips and I still do, um, you know, and I find it to be really versatile. Um, I also like the careful segregation of space on the inside, which is pretty great because it just helps you stay more organized when you're packing stuff for your baby uh, and on the go. Uh, you know, it also helps you to easily pull out the items from inside um, without having to like dig too deep and like search for a bunch of stuff inside. Um, I also like the fact that it's a backpack versus a shoulder bag, you know, just because when you're with a baby, you're just juggling a bunch of stuff. And so it's always easier when it is a backpack. Um, the biggest con though of this bag is that it's on the heavier side. Um, and I do really recommend a lightweight diaper bag. I do want to be doing um, a product review of diaper bags just to make it easier for you to shortlist the right one for you. But otherwise, in terms of usability, I still quite like this diaper bag and so I continue to take it along with me. As for what's actually inside the bag, I'm going to be going over items that are both inside this bag here as well as on the side. You know, at the zero to three month stage, uh, you're not going to be packing a crazy number of items with you just because not not a lot of items are required really at this point in time. I'm also going to be linking all of these items down below. So make sure to check that out in case you're interested in purchasing any of them for your baby. Now, the two things that this diaper bag came with are a changing pad as well as an insulated bottle holder. I'll cover the insulated bottle holder in a bit, uh, but you absolutely want to be carrying a changing pad along with you outside, you know, for any sort of public changes, just from a hygiene perspective. Um, apart from that, I also carry, I always carry about three to four diapers with me, um, you know, obviously. Babies at that stage, you know, pee and poop quite often. So you want to be carrying a sufficient stock of diapers with you, depending on the duration of time that you're going to be outside. Um, now, in addition to that, I also carry, um, you know, travel size uh, baby wipes as well along with me. And I, and I do carry a travel size just because, you know, the actual pack might be a bit heavy. And so just to make sure it's light for you um, on your on your shoulders, it's always good to kind of carry the travel size um, packs, which kind of contain anywhere between 18 to 20 wipes. Um, so, you know, you're covered there. Apart from that, I also carry uh, along with me uh, a wiping cloth. So this is really just to wipe his bum after, um, you know, after I, I use the wipes just to make sure that the area stays dry before I put on his diaper. Uh, and it's also kind of a good tip just to help prevent rashes. I've kind of seen that work for me. Um, and so I, I use that. Uh, and then I also carry the Aquaphor uh, diaper rash cream. You know, I mentioned this in my medicine essentials video, but this product is a game changer. And so I always carry this one with me. This I think is a full size bottle, but I carry the travel size version with me uh, at all times. Apart from that, I also carry the diaper disposable trash bag, you know, just to kind of dispose of the diaper um, in a public space. Uh, what I recommend is always holding on to a diaper disposal, uh, diaper disposal dispenser uh, that you can take with you at all times. You know, it's kind of like the poop bag uh, for, for dogs, but then this one is for babies. So um, that one is always good to hold on to. The other thing that I make sure to carry with me is uh, my medicine pouch for the baby. Uh, now, this one just really depends on the duration of the trip. So, you know, if it's a if it's a long, long trip that I'm going to be taking my baby on, I make sure to toss this into the bag. Uh, but otherwise, if it's just a day trip, then I don't I don't bother carrying this one. Um, in addition to that, I also carry some change of clothes. So this one is always good to carry, you know, in case your baby has a blowout or just creates a mess. Um, always kind of good to hold on to a change of clothes. So, you know, just some 
some pajamas and then you know maybe a pair of onesies i think that one i think is kind of good to hold on to um and then i also carry a pair of socks with me just to make sure he's warm at all times you know just depending on the weather and then um some mittens as well uh, you can also carry a hat you know depending on on how cold it is and then i also carry um these swaddle blankets so now i'm kind of showing you two here but you know you can just choose to pack one just depending depending on the duration of the trip uh but this one is kind of a nice uh muslin blanket that i always carry along with me and this one's um this one's pure cotton um but then you know it's kind of nice just place this over him um either in the car seat or on the stroller just to make sure that he's he's warm i also in fact use this as um a nursing cover while i'm breastfeeding uh my baby in public spaces but otherwise you could choose to separately carry a, a, a nursing cover you know if you do decide to breastfeed your baby in public areas so now I want to move on to milk supplies. Now I mentioned this insulated bottle holder and this one uh, comes with the diaper bag. Like I said earlier, this one can easily fit in an eight ounce Dr. Brown's bottle. Uh, now I didn't carry this during the zero to three month stage uh, and I chose to carry it much later because A, babies don't drink this much at this age. They drink anywhere between the four to five ounce uh, kind of range. Um, and then B, this diaper bag also came with, uh, you know, a separate inbuilt uh, insulated bottle holder space. Uh, and so I made sure to carry my Dr. Brown's bottles, um, you know, which is the four ounce Dr. Brown's bottle um, in this in this particular compartment right here. And so that was pretty con convenient. I would just pump my breast milk um, and then I would pack it in these bottles and then just be ready to go. Apart from that, I also carried um, a burp cloth with me at all times. And you want to be carrying a washcloth or a burp cloth with you because, uh, you know, when babies uh, feed at that point in time, they tend to have uh, spit ups as part of that feeding process. And so it's always good to kind of hold on to a washcloth with you. Um, apart from that, I also carried a pacifier with me at all times. Now, my son really didn't take to pacifiers much, but, uh, you know, I always had this in me or a couple of them just in case. Um, you want to make sure that your pacifier has a string that you can tie around or just uh, wear around the neck just to make sure it doesn't fall but if you don't have that you want to make sure you get pacifier clips uh, that can be attached to the pacifier just so that you're not always having to sanitize it each time your baby drops the pacifier okay apart from that i also carried um you know a pair of these lancino breast pads now that was just super convenient in case i was uh, you know, leaking milk outside whenever I was on the go. Um, at that point in time, I was actively breastfeeding. And so, you know, whenever I skipped a feed, I would end up leaking some milk. And so as a result of that, um, these breast pads were just, just came in super handy. I always also made sure to carry um, a couple of energy bars with me because so these are just basically snacks, uh, not for the baby, but for mom. So you want to make sure that you are uh, well hydrated and well fed as well, you know, when you're outside and just on the go. Um, so just always make sure to carry some some water with you as well as, uh, you know, a couple of energy bars or snacks that you can just um, kind of feed on uh, when you're outside. And then I also made sure to carry, uh, you know, just a book or maybe a small toy um, just in case my baby was getting restless when I was outside. Now, at this stage, they, they're usually um, sleeping more often than not uh, if they're not feeding. Uh, so, you know, you may not always need this, but it's always good to keep something handy just in case, uh, you know, the visuals help at all. And then I also held on to a travel size hand sanitizer, always helpful when you're outside and on the go, um, you know, especially if you're changing uh, your baby's diaper, always good to kind of keep your hands sanitized and clean uh, from a hygiene perspective. Um, and then I also, you know, tossed my wallet, my keys, my phone, etc., and all of these essentials um, in my diaper bag versus carrying a separate purse. I did not want to have to carry um, too many bags with me. And so I chose to use my diaper bag also um, to put in some of my essentials in there. So that was just super helpful. I always have my phone with me because I'm always just taking photos and videos of my baby. Uh, but it was also kind of essential to be able to reach my husband or another family member. And so I always had my phone with me as well in my bag. Okay, so these are all the items that I carried in my diaper bag at the zero to three month stage. Again, I've linked all of these items down below. So make sure to check them out in case you're interested in getting any one of them. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more such videos on helpful mom tips. Until then, sending so much love and warmth to all your parents. Bye.